Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make the Mess today. How are you doing? I'm just going to do a quick haul today because um, I was out and about today and I needed to buy some um, bath soap for Lauren's bathroom. And of course, while I was out and about, I thought, well, geez, let's go stop at the thrift store. I actually wanted to get a great big plastic bowl, which I found a really nice, pretty white bowl for some pasta salad that I'm making and taking to our barbecue. So um, I just thought I'd stop at the thrift store for that. Get a bowl. And of course, while I was at the thrift store, I bought some other stuff. And so let me just show you what I bought here. And before, and, but, excuse me. Yes, guys, it's vodka crunch cherry time. I'm going to save a couple of these. My two favorite things I'm saving for the end. But let me show you what I found. I got this. I don't even know how much he charged me for this. I didn't ask him. And there's, oh, 99 cents. Okay, good. So there's the, this is 99 cents. It's a little three ring binder. And I wanted to have a, like a kitchen binder. So I thought this would be cool for that. So this is going to be my three ring binder for my kitchen. I'm a little concerned about how I'm going to get paper to fit it though, because it's one of those, I hope that comes off there easy. I'll work on that later. Um, but isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's this tag there too. Aren't those flowers pretty? Don't they remind you of our flowers, you guys? I think they're just lovely. So I just got the three, three ring binder for a dollar. It's in really good shape. Then I bought this. Um, it was $10.99, $10.95 at a um, um, regularly. Let me put this down a little bit. And uh, it says include sticker tabs, but I don't see. Oh, they're right here. Here's the sticker tabs. So basically, this thing is brand new, you guys. There's, there's the sticker tabs. Oh, cute. They fold in half. Like you, you fold these two in half and they stick. So I didn't know what this was, but it's just a journal to me. See, it's just a little journal, and it's like a Woodlands journal. Isn't this cute? There's foxes. It's hand-sewn, hand-stitched, or stitched. I shouldn't say hand, but probably not. But look, and so I just had to have this little journal. It is so stinking cute. Knowing me, I'll probably use it to rip one of these out and use it as a... Um, as notes to my for my friends and for you guys but um i just thought it was so cute i just loved it i didn't even know the stickers were included i mean i saw that it said stickers were included but i thought they were gone so basically this was brand new the next thing i bought was this book look at this the artist who painted a blue horse is this not the cutest you've ever seen hello isn't that cute it's so pretty let's move things I just had to have this book. There's a little tear, but who cares? I just had to have this because look, he's painting. I'm an artist and I paint a blue horse. I'm going to read this to you guys. Let's start over. The artist who painted a blue horse. I am an artist and I paint. Let me make sure I have this. Here we go. Don't worry, I'm not going to start over. Isn't this cute? There's his palette. There's his canvas. Look at this guy collaged you guys a blue horse and a red crocodile and a yellow cow oh my God. is that the cutest yellow cow and a pink rabbit and a green lion god and an orange elephant and a purple fox. Doesn't this look like paste paper to you guys? And a black polar bear and a polka dotted donkey. <laughs> I am a good artist. <laughs> oh, I love this book. Oh, so this is by Eric Carl, but let's read this. So Eric Carl was born in the United States in 1929, but spent his boyhood in Germany. At that time, the repressive Nazi regime forbade creating or displaying modern expressionistic or abstract art, art, which they called degenerate. But one day when Eric was 12 or 13 years old, his art teacher, Herr Krauss, secretly showed him some of his forbidden art. I like the freedom and the looseness of the way you draw and paint, he said, but I am only permitted to teach realistic art. And pointing to the reproductions, he went on, just look at the looseness and the freedom and ah, the beauty of these paintings. 
The Nazis have no idea what art is. They are charlatans. At first, young Eric was shocked by the art and feared Herr Krauss had gone mad. Now, Eric says, my green lion, polka dotted donkey, and other animals painted in the wrong colors were really born that day 70 years ago. So, uh, I'm trying to figure out who Frank Mark is. An homage to Frank Mark. Okay, so Frank Mark was born in Germany in 1880. He loved to paint animals in bright and unusual colors. At the time, some traditionalistic, some traditionalist critics objected to his new ideas and his unconventional paintings, stylized in form and unrealistic in color. But Mark and some other like-minded artists formed an art group that was highly influential in the modern and expressionistic movements. His paintings of blue horses are particularly famous. Frank Mark was killed in World War One. World War One. In the pocket of his uniform was found a sketchbook with thirty-six pencil drawings that, as he wrote to his wife, he was planning to make into oil paintings upon his return. And this is one of his horses. What a find this book is, you guys! I just love this. I adore it. So, oh, what a find! I hope you guys like that story. Don't think I'm silly, but I adore things like that. Then I found this beautiful fabric, and anytime I look for fabric, I look for the smaller print. This was a whole 99 cents. Isn't that pretty, you guys? It's a cotton. It's gorgeous. It's almost linen-y. To be quite honest with you, it has a linen feel, but I don't know. But I love it. It's really nice, and I foresee lots of wonderful messes coming from that. Oh, well, and then I found this, this iPhone um, case. It's like... But it was only a dollar. I don't know. And it said it would hit. I have an iPhone 7, you guys. So, um, I don't know. It looks like it might be for a bigger phone than mine. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oopsie. They lied. It says 7. Oh, but maybe it's for the plus. No, it says IP678. <sighs> Does anybody want a really cute iPhone case? I think it'll fit your iPhone plus. So, let me know. <laughs> I'll send it to you. All right. That's so pretty. I wanted it. Well, I didn't have to have it. But for a dollar, I had to have it. Okay, let me put this back together. And if anybody wants that, let me know it's yours. First come, first serve. Okay, and then these. These are duct tapes, you guys. There's black and white and red all over. No, I'm kidding. And then there's another black one. Oh, they put a piece of piece scrap in there for me. But red, there's a red one. And there's another red one. I just had to have it. So I don't even know what I paid for this, but this duct tape will be great for books. You know, I can cut it to the, to the, um, for the bind, for the, um, you know what I'm talking about. The binding in a book. The spine. That's what I'm trying to say. I just can't get over this book. Can you guys get over this book? The artist who painted a blue horse. That's who we are. We're like that. We're like this artist. Only he's better. <laughs> Obvi. Okay. Here's the two, my two favorite things that I bought today. Don't laugh. Okay, this one, this was $2.99. Now, you guys, this is so stinking cute. It's a photo album, right? But, and there's three of them, right? And it's got the photo in there on all three of them. See? But in my bookmaking mind, I plan on taking that out. Already it's out. And refilling it with my own pages and then doing some kind of binding and making this a little set. Like, do you remember Sweet Pea, my little journal Sweet Pea that I did? This could be my little Sweet Pea, but my little Sweet Pea set. And I could work in this little set. I just had to have it. I just thought it was adorable. It was $2.99. $3 for this. So I'm going to, I'm not going to pull that off of there right now because I want to heat it and then make sure that it doesn't um, ruin my, do they have to do that all over the place? Can't they just do it once and be one and done? Love that. Okay, guys, you guys are going to die when you see this because I almost did too. And this is, the, this is it. It is, these are ink pads and they're, some of them have not even been opened. This was $15. Normally... 
I don't really spend that kind of money at the thrift store, but I was like, wait, what? So I'm going to grab some scratch paper right now, and we're going to play with these for a second and see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Not that. I'm going to use this because these are my cutoffs from my, when I do my Etsy shipping. So let's see what we got. I just, I, when I opened up one, and I thought, is there any in there? They look, they're really wet, you guys. They're actually wet. Some of them are, um, look. I mean, I, this paper's kind of hard to do it on, but I mean, they're wet. So they're like new. So why are some of them upside down and some of them aren't? But let's see, like this one right here. This has never been opened, this one. And it's, it's a Whispers Archival, fast-drying, waterproof, and fade-resistant. Um, made in China. This is the Pine Green Whispers. Permanent waterproof for glossy or porous paper. Ink any size stamp. So, let's see what this one looks like. I mean, I did try them in the store, and they, I did see some ink. So, I was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Look. I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely wet see they're really wet Oops. so i don't know we'll just have to like see how this goes and um there's a whole bunch so i thought it was a good deal for 15 dollars. i'm gonna go ahead and store these upside down because i think isn't that way the way you do it well they don't go in there very good that way i think i think you have to do them i think they're well here's a black one I mean, I just love it. So there's every color under the rainbow in here, you guys. There's mauve. That's not been opened. This has not been opened. Most of these have, have this has plastic, this has plastic, 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 and a nice little carrier. And so I just thought, see all the ones with plastic on them? I don't know. Is this like a new thing or is it an old thing that somebody's just been sitting on for years? More, that's probably more what's going on. But I don't really care because I just thought, see, there's there's a lot of good color here that I can just play with. Um, like I said, this is not, this is plastic. So most of them haven't even been opened, you guys. So I thought it was a good deal for $15. Plus I get a senior discount because, you know, I'm a, I'm a senior now. You know, look at that. It's really wet. I mean, that's wet. So I'm pleased. I thought it was a good deal. I would keep it'll keep my some stamps handy by me. You know what I mean? I'll keep instead of having to go over to the stamp drawer. I'm really lazy about using stamps because I don't um, I don't like going over the drawer all the time and grabbing something out. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this handy, and maybe I'll do a little bit more stamping. Not the kind of stamping that'll get me into trouble, but stamping like I just did. This is my own artwork. I did <laughs> not gonna get in any trouble. I'm talking about inking around the pages and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I think uh, I'm not a big stamper or inker, but I might become one now. So, anyway. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little haul and the little story that I wrote to, read to you. I adore that horse. Oh, I actually bought the book to cut it up, and now I don't have the heart to cut it up because I love the story so much. That's what happens to me. I fall in love with stuff, and then I'm I'm addicted to it, and then I have to have it for the rest of my life, and that's just weird. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Go have yourself a vodka cran cherry if you can, and don't drive because I'm in for the day now. I'm done, and I just wanted to get this haul out to you guys, and so I have one more thing to video and share with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you really soon. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.